The legendary literary genius William Shakespeare, in one of his great works, said, There are so many events in the womb of time. Shakespeare's statement is a graphic illustration of about four decades of existence of the Federal University of Technology, MENA. The story of the university started in 1980 when the federal government of Nigeria announced the decision to establish seven federal universities of technology with the aim of enhancing technological development in the country. The Federal University of Technology, MENA, thus came into being on the 1st of February, 1983, to train scientists and engineers. This documentary provides an insight into the significant impact made on the growth and development of education in Nigeria, as well as how the Federal University of Technology, MENA, became a key player in the global academic scene. The growth and development of the university started with the appointment of the Foundation Vice Chancellor, Professor Jonathan Othman Ndagi, in November 1982, alongside the first Chancellor of the university, who is also the Emir of Zaria, Al Haji Sheu Idris. The Pro Chancellor and Chairman of the First Governing Council of the University was also appointed on 1st of February 1983 to mark the foundation date of the university at the defunct Government Teachers College, Bosu, now called Bosu Campus of the University. Having acquired the defunct Government Teachers College, Bosu, the facilities were remodeled and upgraded as well as additional structures constructed to accommodate the central administration block comprising the vice chancellor's office, the registry, and bursary. Nine classrooms, one laboratory each for physics, chemistry, biology, geography, and geology, the library, mini computer center, male and female student hostels, as well as staff quarters were accorded priority. Federal University of Technology MENA was established back in 1983 and is among the third generation universities. And looking at the journey so far, we will say that the university has done well. Uh, we started as a very small component where everyone knows everyone. But today, sometimes I'm surprised that I don't know most of my colleagues in the university. Someone has to introduce himself or herself and say, oh, I'm a staff in this school, or even in my school, just to tell you the extent of the growth we've had over the years. In June 1983, the recruitment of the foundation academic staff commenced while the first batch of the recruited academic staff reported on the 1st of December 1983. The second batch reported on 3rd of January 1984. The first set of students reported for registration on the 13th of February 1984. The health services of the Federal University of Technology, MENA, started on the 1st of June 1984 with a staff in a room shared with other units of the university. Today, it has grown into a full-fledged division comprising six units. In September 1985, the Senate building at the Boso campus was completed to accommodate the Vice Chancellor's office, the registry, and the bursary, while the Student Affairs Division relocated to offices as well occupied by these units. Science and engineering are core disciplines in any university of technology. The Federal University of Technology, MENA, therefore worked hard to establish four schools at the beginning. They are 
School of Science and Science Education, School of Agriculture and Agricultural Technology, School of Environmental Technology, and the School of Engineering and Engineering Technology. Precisely on the 28th of October 1984, the Senate of the University concluded arrangement for the creation of the other three schools. 1st of February 1986 marked the official inauguration of the Federal University of Technology, MENA, by former military president and commander-in-chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, General Ibrahim Badamasi Bangida, GCFR. The first convocation ceremony took place on the 27th of January 1990 with 22 graduates. The staff strength has also gone up from about 50 in 1984 to 2,484 in 2020. The University Staff School, which was established in 1987, now boasts of a secondary section. General Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida GCFR, the former military president and commander-in-chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, performed the third turning ceremony on the 2nd of June, 1992, to commence project execution on the main campus at the Gidan Kwano along Mina Bida Road. Since then, it has been work unending. Physical development of the main campus started with eight projects under phase one of the implementation program of the master plan. The projects include the School of Engineering and Engineering Technology, School of Agriculture and Agricultural Technology, as well as School of Environmental Technology Buildings. Others are Students Hostels, Student Center, Library Complex, Senate Building, and road network. The university also got approval and connected the Gidan Kwano campus to the national grid. Apart from this, more strategies were evolved which led to the completion of quite a number of projects under phase one of the implementation program of the master plan. Consequently, movement of the university from Bosa campus to its main campus at the Gidan Kwano along Mina Bida Road became a reality on Monday, the 24th of January, 2005. After the stunning event in the history of the institution, the Federal University of Technology Mina witnessed steady growth and development under different leaderships of the university management. There is a mutual respect a mutual recognition of uh, each other's responsibility. Our focus is that there is paramountcy of the interests of the students. And two, we consider it important that there should be fairness, justice, okay, all around in the relationship of management to staff and to students. Our lecturers in this university, they've always complied. They know the essence of being here and they've been cooperating with management and and try to ensure that we strive towards attaining the visual mission of the university. What is responsible is the fact that there is immense cooperation between management and staff. That understanding is there. The university also established campus radio station, codenamed Search FM, to reach out to students and the residents of the university community. The community radio Search FM has had a donation of a building, um, a radio station by uh, Alhaji Mohamed Babangida, IBB's son. The Academic Publishing Center, sponsored by TED Fund, to serve as publication center for academic journals of all universities in the North Central Geopolitical Zone of the country, will soon commence operation. 
we initially had some kind of delay because um, third fund themselves were thinking of the operational model of the center very soon decisions will be taken as to how to operationalize the center realizing the importance of electronic testing center the federal university of technology mina has constructed the center and equipped it with computers to improve e-examination of the students of the university and also create additional office accommodation for staff of the center two additional blocks of male and female students hostel have been constructed under the presidential needs assessment in spite of these efforts Hostel accommodation has remained a major challenge. To address the situation, the university management has resolved to attract funding from the university alumni, corporate bodies, and spirited individuals, as well as look into the direction of private sector through public-private partnership arrangement. We were able to secure um, the support of our urban shelter and they have now committed to the provision of 5,000 base spaces for us um, with 1,500 to be delivered this year as the first um, cluster. The university is desirous of accommodating at least 75% of its students on campus to effectively expose them to the university culture. Their needs assessment uh, the half of the Anis assessment, about 2.5 billion, <laughs> was being sat upon for one reason or the other. We were able to get, we were able to get that release, and then of course we were able to win uh, these high impact uh, uh, funds for the university. So as it is now, the university has become a kind of a giant construction site uh, with so many uh, projects going on, and there are different levels of uh, completion. The university has in the last two years witnessed tremendous strides in the area of physical infrastructural upgrade. The university management and the union work hand in hand to bring about development and peace in the university. All unions, not only my union, are members of a budget monitoring committee. They look at the way and manner by which money given from third fund have been expended. The construction of the School of Physical Sciences and the School of Life Sciences complexes have started as the university management is committed to relocating the schools from Bosa campus to the main campus at the Gidan Kwanu along Minabida Road in no distant future. By the grace of God, before the end of this year, both schools can now be relocated from Bosu, where they are currently uh, are located, to the permanent site. The construction of lecture theatre for the School of Information and Communication Technology, aimed at providing lecture space for all the departments in the school, has begun. Other projects include completion of the second phase of the School of Engineering and Engineering Technology Complex construction of the second phase of cyber security building 20 units each for male and female lavatories construction of 250 seater capacity lecture theater for school of information and communication technology as well as construction of two ict hubs the university's e-learning has finally gotten approval from the National Universities Commission to run degree programs after 10 years of its establishment. Realizing that research is one of the key mandates of any university in the world, Federal University of Technology, MENA Research Drive has received tremendous support of the university and research has been scaled up. The management is always happy to see that the university is moving fine in the aspect of research. University management, they have been really supporting us as researchers, owing to many of the grants. At least we have information 
of the South Grand available nowadays? Our Vice Chancellor is a scientist. He's an international scholar. So he knows the value of research. The University Board of Research, having been expanded to the Directorate of Research, Innovation and Development, Federal University of Technology, MENA, has been in the forefront of conducting cutting-edge research. Currently, we have over 120 people um, in different parts of um, the world that are doing their PhDs. Those that have come back have actually been contributing massively. Uh, for the purpose of research. Today in the university, we are expanding our research so that the communities around us, we want to affect their farm product. We want to affect the way they do things, and that is ongoing. Yeah, the researches that we conduct in the university have been of uh, immense uh, benefit to the society and the community, especially in terms of educational achievement and in terms of uh, product uh, development. A team of researchers from the Center of Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology, Federal University of Technology, MENA, recorded a research breakthrough by producing the first carbon nanoparticles in Nigeria. This was made possible by acquisition of multi-million Naira state-of-the-art equipment under the auspices of the World Bank. What we are doing now is to produce a nanoparticle that will free the food of bacteria. Even when they consume the food, all the bacteria present in their body will also be eliminated. Also, one of the professors from the Federal University of Technology, MENA, led a group of researchers that developed and produced typhoid vaccine that has been tested on humans. The university has also won the World Bank Research Grant to the tune of six million US dollars for the establishment of the Africa Center of Excellence for mycotoxin and food safety, the 11th of such centers in the country. AUC as the national coordinator requested for research proposals 151 groups in Nigeria indicated interest to bid for that grant. 132 applications were received from various universities in this country, including six from Federal University of Technology, MENA. 43 were selected to the continental level. 26 were found good enough. 17 made it to New York final evaluation. This group that wrote the proposal for an African Center of Excellence for Mycotoxin and Food Safety was one of those 10 applications that was successful. The center aims at creating learning opportunities and research results that will address Africa's shortage of expertise in food safety and applicable solutions. So we are trying to specialize apart from mycotoxin take metals and we know incidences of metal toxicity especially the cases in Zampara State and some part of Niger State. So we want to analyze food samples from these states where there is active gold mining unregulated by the government. Uh, we just won uh, a particular award called uh, a Women in Science of Saharan African Award from uh, Lori UNESCO, uh, which I happen to win for Federal University of Technology. I mean, we're just two uh, in Nigeria. We have patented up to seven intellectual properties that are solving problems within national and global problems. As part of efforts aimed at boosting telecoms-based research in Nigerian tertiary institutions, Professor Elizabeth Onwuka and Professor Abiodumusa Aibino attracted research grants from the Nigerian Communications Commission to the university. The research grants are for the design and development of low-cost adaptive GSM signal booster, 
fabrication and production of GSM battery, as well as seamless data and voice connection using multiple operators enabled SIM card. The essence of the booster has two antennas. One will receive it, a strong antenna, will receive that weak signal. Then the booster circuit will strengthen, pull it up. And then the second antenna will now rebroadcast it around, especially people who are indoors. We have been working on developing what is called fuelless generator. You have a generator that, is, that doesn't use petrol, neither petrol nor diesel. Mobile communication enabled walking stick has mobile communication components, obstacle detection, phone call initiation to predefined caregivers, real-time transmission of vital signals to remote health workers, flashlight, Bluetooth, and battery charging system. The whole idea is that it must be able to intelligently detect when there is fall or otherwise while in use. That's one of the work we have done that involves artificial intelligence. Many other researchers from the Federal University of Technology, MENA, have attracted research grants to the university from the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, TED Fund, Nigerian Telecommunications Commission, NCC, Raw Materials Research Development Council, Federal Ministry of Mines and Steel Development, and so on. The research is conducted by the professors have won awards and uh, research grants for the university. We have also had grants within the year uh, from the Royal Academy of um, Engineering, Federal Ministry of Mines, and so many other sources. So much so that we are beginning to see that the structure put in place is beginning to yield a very good result for us. There's no year we don't have a grant that we win. We're always winning one or the other. It may be in Trinco, but you understand? We have the STEB just about winding up. We got the African mycotoxin. We have the clean energy by the Professor Ibino team. We have the Professor Elizabeth Wunka's team. About four of them for this last session alone. The West African Science Service Center, WASCAL, on climate change and adapted land use, a capacity building and research collaboration between Germany and the Federal Ministry of Education is hosted by the Federal University of Technology, MENA. In FUT MENA, we were tasked with the responsibility of running a master's program on climate change and adapted land use. After we successfully graduated three sets, we were now asked to upgrade to a PhD. And then the PhD is uh, the one we refer to as uh, climate change and human habitat. The center runs Master of Technology degree program on climate change and adapted land use to encourage cross-border collaboration in education and research with a view to addressing impacts of climate change in West Africa in an integrated cross-disciplinary and multi-sectoral manner. Climate change also means global cooling, but in this case, we are talking about global warming. So the more urban areas or cities warm up, the more the challenge in keeping those places habitable. So our program in MENA is going to focus on innovative solutions to ensure that cities do not suffer so much. Because if there's so much of that, then it means human habitation will be a challenge. The university has also recorded a number of academic achievements, including the design and fabrication of highly valuable items of socio-economic importance, such as solar air heater, motor car crankshaft, gerund system for crane and rice destoning machine. It is therefore not surprising that Federal University of Technology is ranked among the best tertiary institutions in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. Today, if you look at national and international rankings, you will find that um, uh, the university is uh, rated amongst uh, the top 10 universities in Nigeria and uh, amongst the top 100 in Africa. 
So, um, without any consideration for age or for size, the university has done well, and we are proud of it. In recognition of excellence in areas of science and technology, Federal University of Technology, MENA, has been attracting eminent scholars from within and the world over, while all its academic programs have received full accreditation. Since 2013 to date, we had all our programs full accreditation. And we have been having new programs. You understand? It was because the vice chancellor gives the director of land planning needed tools to succeed. The school is a very, very good school. The students are law abiding and the lecturers are really trying their best. They have opened me up to the world of research more because we have mentorship from our lecturers. Unionism also is not left aside. That is the social aspect of the university. We are able to appoint the vice chancellor without any rancor at all. A process that uh, uh, other universities were trying to emulate and in which uh, both uh, the winner and the loser appreciated. The Federal University of Technology, MENA, has grown into a reputable and giant institution among tertiary institutions, not only in Nigeria, but the world over. Beats by SV.